Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Ayala and today I am back with another video and as you guys seen by that title, I am going to be doing a half up half down quick weave. Um, this is more like a tutorial but not really because I'm not a professional but it also is a tutorial because I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a quick weave or at least how I do my quick weave. So we're going to get right into this video but before we do make sure to hit that subscribe button and also Follow me on my social medias as well. They'll be right here on the screen. Make sure to do that. DM me, become my friend, and let me know you came from YouTube. So let's get right into it. The first thing that I'm doing is just basically detangling my hair and taking out the four braids that I had in. Last night I had washed my hair and blow dried it so I just put it in these four braids to just you know like put it up so that it doesn't get detangled. Um, so that's basically what I'm doing right now before I start the actual style. So I am doing a half up half down so I am just going to part my hair into two sections just straight across at the top so that I can get that front part out the way so that I can start working on that back area first. Also, when I did this, I did try to make sure my part was as straight as possible, but even if it wasn't, it doesn't really matter because we're not doing any leave out for this style, so you won't see the part at all. So even if you don't get your part as straight, because I know I struggle with parting it a little bit, it's okay, it don't matter because you're not going to see the part anyway. So next, I'm going to just braid the back of my hair down. This is a quick weave, so I want this style to be quick. I don't want it to take too long. So I'm going to only do like five braids in the back and just try to make them as flat as possible. Alright, so now I have my five braids and I'm going to just take this oil of mine and just apply it onto my scalp. I like to put some type of oil or moisturizer when I do styles like this because my hair, your hair cannot breathe under that, under that wig cap. And also just because I'm putting in synthetic hair and sometimes that can get really itchy. So yeah, I just want my hair moisturized basically. <laughs> Now I'm going to just pin up my hair with some bobby pins. I didn't really feel like braiding the braids together because that would have took me a little bit longer. So I'm going to just do it the easy way and put some bobby pins and it worked out just fine. Next, I'm going to just go in with my got to be spray. I didn't have any protective shield and I honestly don't really need it. Um, so I just went in with this spray and just sprayed my hair so that my hair could be protected from the hair glue and also so that the wig hat can stay onto my head. And I'm just blow drying this and then I'm going to spray my hair again just for like that second layer of protection. Now I'm gonna put my wig cap on y'all. This is just going to allow my hair to stay protected from that hair glue. Um, if you've already did a quick weave or had one, you already know that you gotta put a wig cap on, but this is just basically for the people who don't know. That's why I'm explaining it. 
Again, y'all, I'm just going in with my Got To Be Spray. This, this is just for extra layer of protection and so that the wig cap can actually stick onto my head and also so that it makes the, the hair glue easier for the tracks to stay. I'm gonna just go in with my eyeliner pencil so that I can see where that part, where my part is that separates the back of my hair from the front of my hair, just so that I don't glue any tracks past that. So I only plan to have this style in for like three days. So I went and got some beauty supply hair. This is the Dream Nacho hair. I got it in the deep wave, 24 inches, and it's in the color one. Um, one or one B. It's kind of really the same thing to me. This hair actually was super soft. Like it really lasted me more than three days. Actually, the only thing I could really say about it is it shed it, but you can put heat to it. You can like it just lasts like. It, it was for the occasion and it got me through the occasion and after that so yeah also this pack of hair was only $14.99 um they didn't have the inches that I needed at one of the beauty supplies so I went to another one and it was $21.99 so it really just depends on what beauty supply you go to but you shouldn't spend no more than that on just one pack of hair I'm just basically measuring the hair from ear to ear so I know where to cut it. Um, you do want to put the hair on in a U shape and not straight across so that when you get to the top it's a lot easier. And also because this is a no leave out style, when you do it in a U shape it falls over the part so that you won't be able to see that you don't have leave out. I'm just going to be using this hair glue right here you can just get this at your local beauty supply um, I've never used any other hair glue so I would just recommend using this one Like I said before, you just want to apply the track onto your head in a U shape and you just basically won't be able to tell that you don't have leave out and I'm just doing this literally for my entire head. When you get to the top, you still want to make sure that you can put the tracks in a U shape and then um, you will have to cut the tracks a little shorter. For this last track, I just glued it straight across at the top. You won't really be able to tell. It's just to like kind of fill in that section because that section doesn't have anything right there.
Now I'm just cutting off the top of the wig cap because I don't need it anymore. And the wig cap will stay. I know some probably probably want some people are probably wondering like, is the cap gonna fall off? Or like is the hair gonna fall off your head? Cause I used to think that too, but that's why we use the got to be glue the got to be glue. I'm stuttering so much. Like what is going on? That's why we use the got to be glue so that the tracks can stay so that the tracks can stick onto the, the cap and that the cap can stick onto your real hair okay all right all right so now this last part we're going to be working with the front half of the head and i'm gonna just be slicking it down i'm gonna be using some eco styler gel some shining gem edge control and some instant control so let's get into it The first thing I'm using is the Eco Styler Gel. Now I'm going in with the Instant Control. Now I'm using the Shine and Gem just to seal all the other product in. Y'all know I love my baby hairs. There's no style I do without my baby hairs. So I'm gonna take out my sideburns and then I'm gonna do two swoops in the front, the usual. So now I'm just going to be taking one piece of this black wrap and just wrapping it around my ponytail. I'm going to start off with some of that hair glue and just put it right there on the end and I'm not going to let that touch my hair. That's just so that it can stay. And I'm basically just doing the same thing I did when I first started wrapping with the glue. All right, if y'all see a quality change, my camera dies, so I transfer over to my phone. But for this last part, I'm just basically adding some glue to the beginning of the track, and then I'm gonna start wrapping it around my head. I'm to the end of the track, so I'm just putting a little bit of glue to seal that track. And then I'm going to basically repeat the same process with the next track that I put on. I'm going to just add glue to the beginning of the track, wrap it, and then when I get towards the end of the track, I'm going to just add more glue and then blow dry it and it'll stick. And then I'll show you guys what I do for the root.
So I stopped wrapping the track right before it got to my hair ties and then I'm just taking a piece from the ponytail, adding a little bit of got to be and just wrapping it around. And I actually took a few pieces from the ponytail and I just wrapped it around until it got to how I liked it to be. All right, so last thing is my edges. You already know how I do. I put my instant control, and if I need to, I'll add a little bit of Shining Jam or Edge Wax, but for this tutorial, I'm using the Shining Jam. As usual, you kind of got to play with the edges to get them how you want to. Um, I This is like my first time or like my second time actually doing my edges like this where I do a swoop and then like a mini swoop right below that swoop. You feel what I'm saying? So I really like them like this and I think I'm going to start doing my edges like this a lot more. But yeah, you just got to play with it until you get it to how you want it to be. As y'all can see, I'm already feeling myself. But yeah, y'all, that pretty much wraps up this video. This is how I do my quick weaves. If y'all really want me to be honest, this is my first time ever doing a quick weave on myself. Um, I kind of just, you know, learn as I go. And I've been doing my own hair. So are you doing your own hair? Like, are you doing your own hair? Because I'm doing my own hair and I'm feeling it. Like... Look at me all in the mirror, y'all. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, follow my social medias, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and blessings.